Hello, it is 5 a.m. in Washington. It's 11 a.m. in Tripoli. I'm Juanita Rajkal. And I'm Zane Verge. You're watching World One live from London. In this hour in Libya, where Allied attacks on the capital Tripoli are continuing into a sixth day. These latest pictures are from Libyan state TV. They reportedly show the destruction at a military base in Tripoli after a coalition airstrike. Say they have intercepted an illegal shipment of pistols allegedly bound for Yemen. The city's police commander in chief says smugglers attempted to send 16,000 pistols from Turkey to Yemen. Israel has carried out the latest in a series of attacks on the Gaza Strip as tit-for-tat assaults continue. The Islamic militant group Hamas, which controls Gaza, says Israeli fighter jets attacked targets including smuggling a smuggling tunnel and the electric power grid causing a power blackout. Well, does the summit that would finally draw a line under the Eurozone's debt crisis. Instead, Thursday's EU meeting in Brussels is being overshadowed by Portugal's problems. For more now on Europe's response to the crisis, we're joined by Emily Rubin. Emily. Well, Manita, for months, European leaders have talked about using this summit in Brussels to finally reach an agreement on a comprehensive package of measures. Another earthquake has struck off the coast of Japan with a magnitude of 6.1. It was centered 91 miles from Sendai, among the hardest hit areas during the original quake and tsunami. It comes after two emergency workers were taken to hospital because of exposure to radiation after stepping in contaminated water. CNN's Paula Hancock is in Tokyo. She joins us now with the latest developments. Paula. Well, Monita, we understand from TEPCO, the company that's in charge of uh, the Fukushima nuclear plant, that two workers were hospitalized. Uh, they say that actually three workers were contaminated as they uh, were working in the basement of an engine room. What more do we know about, I guess, getting the, the nuclear reactors under control in terms of damage control? Well, give us an update on that. Well, we know that they have managed to get electricity to Reactor 1, the, at least the control room of Reactor 1. And, of course, this is the most crucial uh, issue for them at this point, trying to get electricity back to all elements of this plant and trying to get those cooling systems back online. So well, look we at what newspapers in the United States are saying about President Obama. USA Today has the headline, Obama's plan lost in glare of global crises. The paper Shh. says crisis has defined Obama's presidency from the start. Now Obama's decision to use U.S. military forces to impose a no-fly zone over Libya has prompted criticism from Republican presidential hopefuls that the president dithered before agreeing to act. The Chicago Tribune, the headline there, says, while Obama seeks clarity, we're fighting another war. The president must find clarity before beginning such an enterprise. To do otherwise is to risk not only American lives and his own presidency and political fortunes, but to risk America's future security and its place among nations. And finally, the Washington Post's headline says, fast trip from tyrant to weakling. The newspaper goes on to say uh, the White House justifiably complains that the criticism of Obama's Libya policy is inconsistent, but it doesn't matter if the criticism is fair. Obama left a vacuum, and as his opponents filled it for a president suddenly called weak, such is the tyranny of the news cycle. And you can read all those articles in full at Facebook. The heavy com. snowfall and severe storms have ripped through parts of the United States. Let's go to our meteorologist Jennifer Delgado at the World Weather Center for more on what we can expect today. Jen? today, but uh, yesterday was a wild day. I want to look at this graphic for you and point out to you, uh, look at the reports. Yeah, brave, had to catch away. brave soul. Brave. Brave soul there, Jen. Brave I know. Brave. You know, my mother was telling me it was snowing in Toronto there yesterday as well. Absolutely. I guess it's the last blast of winter. Is it always snow, snowing in Toronto? Not in the Not summer. always, but it seems like in <laughs> Minnesota always. lately. And the yeah. part of the U.S. All right, uh, Jen, thank you very much. Hollywood legend Elizabeth Taylor passed away Wednesday at the age of 79. Taylor's first major role in the movie, uh, National Velvet, made her a child star, and she remained a star for the rest of her life. Elton John was a close friend of the actress and dedicated All a song. All my pictures seem to take black and white. 